asked, what's something you wish teachers knew more about you? So you can like answer that one right, right away. It could be something as simple as like, oh, like I have like a busy life going on outside of college. Um, so sometimes like if I, if it need be that I'm like asking for an extension, like on a certain assignment, it doesn't have to do anything with like my work or academic ethic. It's just that I'm just asking and I'm reaching out for help, you know, especially if you're always like on it, turning in your assignments. Cause I know some teachers can sometimes just be like, no, no late work. So that can get a little bit frustrating. And something I wish the teachers knew about us is as a first generation student that we do have a lot of pressure put on us from our parents because they never had the opportunity to go to college. I think teachers can help students um, better learn by just taking the time out and answering questions if we're struggling or anything along those lines. Instructors can have more group projects or group discussions to help better support our academic support here at St. Charles Community College. Taking like a moment to be understanding and realizing if, you know, a student, for example, asking for an extension on a project and they've shown that they turn in projects on time or get their work done. It's not like an excuse. It's more of a just reaching out and saying that I need an extension because I need help. Um, understanding mental health issues. Um, I mean, I am a, I struggle with anxiety and it, some things that professors do make me nervous. And, you know, sometimes I wish they would like you said, explain things a little bit better. So, you know, as a student, I don't get overwhelmed and, you know, there's just, I don't know, I'm, I guess it's different for everybody, but when they talk about multiple assignments at once, it makes, it overwhelms me. And I'm like, oh my gosh, how can I get this all done in this amount of time? But, you know. I was going to agree with being patient. It's like basically enough to understand like, all the problems or circumstances we might have. Um, I sometimes feel anxious, especially because I don't know if I just feel so homesick and like if I'm going to do good because it's the pressure of being outside of the country and try to do your best in a place when you don't know anyone, when you have to rely only on yourself. And most teachers maybe don't understand that, at, the, at that level because maybe they have never left their hometown or something or their state or move across to other another city so I think like and it's like crazy trying like to explain that for yourself because maybe that person won't understand but it's but it's like huge pressure most people can have and all I think that they just being patient and understanding for me it will be enough with your culture being a part of who you are, how do you celebrate it? Um, I celebrate my culture every day, honestly. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's not even about like being at a PWI. It's more of being Black in America, period. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. we, our race just goes through a lot as it is. But yeah. um, I would say I celebrated like um, I talk, I talk, I'm an activist. I'm an activist mm -hmm. for like everything, like activist for feminism, African-American history, really big in African-American history, because it's just so, it's just so much stuff that you can talk about in it. But um, that's how I celebrate by teaching other people about the culture. As a Hispanic student, I would like teachers to acknowledge how to pronounce my name right, because it is a part of who I am. One thing I would like my instructors to know about me is I am Bolivian. One thing, a stereotype here in America is that like almost every Latino or Hispanic is considered Mexican. And even though it's a understandable one, since Mexico is a very, a very large country and we border it and very commonly known, it's still frustrating to hear. We all have different backgrounds, different cultures, different, even different types of food. And it gets frustrating just because we speak the same language. It's like saying that people in the United States and the UK are basically the same. I was hoping that at this school that there can be more visibility for Asian American students, especially in conversations about race and cultural sensitivity, and just um, seeing us be more visible. I had mm -hmm. my mom trying to study with me online and everything, so it was like crazy. She did her best, and that really helped me. And mm -hmm. 
but if but imagine if I didn't have like a parent a friend or a, a, a super teacher I will feel like so like alone and standing like and there's like I, I would I, I would feel like falling and I don't have anything to grab and stay like and 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 try not to fall and just try to climb up again it's mm-hmm. like that yeah so I get what you people, mean so mm-hmm. teachers and and community being supportive at least I have found very supportive teachers here and also the um, um, the director of the international student um, the international student services they're also great people and supportive and tra- and they always try to help you so if people understand that and try to and do that encourage it it will be so appreciated <laughs>